Turn it up. All right, how you doing, Final Wordians? My name is Lee Boy, and you're listening and watching Lee's Final Word. Thank you once again for joining me this Friday for the fifth consecutive episode of The Final News. Before we get into the news, let's get into the final challenge. Who won last week's final challenge between The Red Hood and Punisher? You guys picked The Red Hood. I thought a lot of you guys would pick Punisher. I mean, I mean, he's been doing it a lot longer. You know, what? I, I would have to give you two opinions when it comes to them. Um, because I was torn. I know you. I made you guys do it, but um, it's my show, so I can do what I want. Um, so my honest opinion, who win? Punisher. My biased opinion would be Red Hood because he's a lot cooler, way cooler looking, way cooler everything. Um, as far as the Punisher is concerned, basically almost same character, but Red Hood to me is a cooler character. Sorry. All right, moving on to the news. Let's go. Uh, Got my cards here, and I got stuff written on my cards, so you guys think I'm just throwing around random cards? <laughs> Fool you. Uh, CW will be broadcasting Supergirl uh, Season 1 this summer, so to catch you up on uh, Supergirl Season 1 before it reaches Season 2, check it out. It's going to be releasing on the CW. Look out for my review, which is already out. Maybe there's a link floating around. You need to go check it out. That card ain't going nowhere. Damn. Who's in my touch? All right. Moving on to some Arrow news, uh, former WWE superstar Cody Rhodes will be joining season five of Arrow and he's gonna be picking a fight with Stephen Amell as who? Can't be Stardust. He doesn't work there no more. All right, so I don't know. If you're hype about that, uh, leave it a comment in the comment section below. <laughs> no, none of one will. Um, yeah, moving on. Fathom has added uh, 3,000 theaters adding for their one night uh, event. That's gonna be dealing with the killing joke, which is gonna have uh, the return of uh, Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill and Tara Strong, all the people that you know and love from the animated series to reprise their roles in the uh, Batman universe. Get hyped for that. Um, I'm gonna be, me personally, I'm gonna wait for either the digital download or DVD release. You ain't catching me in a movie theater for no animated series. All right, uh, let's move on here. If you're gonna be at the San Diego Comic Con, you guys are in for a treat. Because the CW is going to be there and they're going to be having a panel for all their TV shows. Uh, Arrow, Supergirl, Flash, DC Legends tomorrow. So if you're going to be at the San Diego Comic Con, you guys are in for a special treat. They're going to be having that starting Saturday, July 23rd. New York Comic Con coming soon. All right. Yeah, the card fell back there. All right. Marvel News. Uh, we heard the reference before to the Kree, you know, watching uh, Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. and um, Bing. My link for my review, if you haven't seen it already, shameless plug. Um, they talked about the creep, what about the scrolls? Yeah. Uh, James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy, took to his Twitter page and answered that question that um, the scrolls are actually co owned by Fox and Marvel. So, um, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know a damn thing. So, don't look at me. I'm just reporting the news. These, these cards are rebellious. All right. Netflix has reached a deal with CW that would allow them to stream the CW shows eight days after the season finale ends. That's incredible. That's that's super fast. That means eight days after the season is over, basically a week, you'll be able to watch the whole season on Netflix. Before you had to wait a, a lot longer, but man, that's pretty quick. Booyaka shot. Anyway, moving on. Walking Dead news, uh, Negan has now been bumped up to season regular uh, for season seven. It's fitting for a character like him. I don't know how long he's gonna be. He's probably gonna do the same thing the governor did, prolonged over time. All right, that's it. Uh, well, uh, today's just not my day with these damn cards. All right, moving on to today's final challenge, which is gonna be between DC's Catwoman and Marvel's Black Widow. I mean, you guys should have a field day with this in the comment section. Let me know. All right, final word again is don't forget to spread the word and join me on the road to 100 subscribers. Don't forget to like, hit the comment section below, and subscribe. Once again, my name is Lee Boy, if you didn't know already. Um, this is Lee's final word, and um, I'll catch you next time. Again, if you're a new subscriber or if you're an old subscriber, spread the word about Lee's final word. Tweet it. Put it on Facebook. All kinds of social media. All right, guys. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one. Reality you see on the TV show. 
So if you're a fan of The Flash or you're someone who's uh, wanted to know more about the history of The Flash, I'm going to go into a little bit of detail for you to give you a, a more general idea of who this character is that Grant Gustin is actually playing. Now let's get into